Welcome to the DHS program video on de jure and de facto. Before talking about de jure and de facto, it is important to understand the DHS definition of a household. In technical terms, a household is a person or group of related or unrelated persons who live together in the same dwelling unit or units, who acknowledge one adult male or female as the head of the household, who share the same housekeeping arrangements, and who are considered a single unit. In other words, do the people reside in the same compound? Are they answerable to the same household head? And do they have the same cooking arrangement? If the answer to any of these criteria are a yes, then that group of people are identified as a household. Two terms that are frequently used when classifying members of a household are the terms de jure and de facto. You will frequently see the terms de jure and de facto throughout the DHS report. So let's examine these words more closely. De jure is a Latin term for in law, whereas de facto is a Latin term for in fact or in practice. So what do these words mean in DHS reports? For DHS reports, de jure residents are all persons who are usual residents of the selected households, whether or not they stayed in the household the night before the interview. While the term de facto means all persons who stayed in the selected households the night before the interview, whether usual residents or visitors. Let's look at the household questionnaire. When an interviewer comes to a household, they will ask to speak to the head of the household. After proper consent is given, the interviewer will start to fill in the household schedule. The first question of the household schedule is to ask the household head to please give me the names of the persons who usually live in your household and guests of the household who stayed here last night, starting with the head of the household. The names of the persons who usually live in the household are those that are considered de jure household members. If the person stayed there the previous night, they are considered de facto household members. Most people in a DHS survey are usual residents that stayed there last night, both de jure and de facto. However, there are a smaller subset of people who are visitors, de facto, but non de jure. Additionally, there may be household members that are away, such as those visiting relatives in another town. Those are de jure, but non de facto. However, if a person is non de jure and non de facto, meaning that they are not a usual resident and did not stay the previous night in the household, they are not eligible to be interviewed as part of the DHS survey. These two classifications of household members are important because some indicators are only calculated for de jure or de facto residents. For example, many tables about insecticide-treated net are limited to de facto subpopulations, or those who stayed in the household the night before the survey. For example, in the model dataset table on use of mosquito nets by persons in the household, it says at the beginning that this table is the percentage of the de facto population who slept the night before the survey under mosquito net, treated or untreated. However, for some tables, it doesn't tell you explicitly that you're looking at de facto populations, but you can tell that is limited to de facto household members because the table is limited to those who stayed in the household the night before the interview. For example, in the model dataset table on use of mosquito nets by children, we know this table is limited to the de facto children because of the note at the bottom that says, table is based on children who stayed in the household the night before the interview. Some tables are limited to only the de jure population. For example, in the model dataset table on birth registration of children under age five, the table is limited to only de jure children. This means that the table is only showing registered births by children who are usual residents. If you are working with DHS data files and you want to restrict your analysis to only de jure or de facto populations, you will need to use the following variables. The variable for de jure is HV102. In the data set, it is labeled usual resident. The variable for de facto is HV103. The variable label for de facto is slept last night. This video provided a brief overview of de jure and de facto. If you have additional questions, please visit our website or the DHS user forum. Mm -hmm.